So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this kind of um, grid looking thing. Um, so go ahead and open up a new image. And by the way, uh, thank you to Unbanned for making my new intro. And um, if my site is ever down and you're wondering why, just follow me on Twitter and I'll be posting. Um, so follow me on Twitter to know any updates. Um, and that's twitter.com slash jxtutorials. Because um, if my site is down for some reason, because it was down earlier, because, um, or it's still down, I don't know if it's still down or not. Um, but it was down because the server was, or like the site hoster was upgrading their servers or something. Uh, so that's why. So getting all the tutorial, after you have your new image open, go to filters, render, clouds, solid noise. Now you can adjust your settings to whatever you want, but these are just my settings. Uh, detail 2, X size is 2.9, uh, Y size is 2.8, um, but these don't matter too much, they're just giving us a base for our image. Now go to filters, blur, pixelize. Now I would recommend going to the pretty high number here because um, it doesn't look as good when you use when you have smaller pixels. So I'm going to go with a pixel width and height of 20. But if you're using a bigger image, you might want to go uh, in. Uh, you might want to choose bigger pixels. Now just go down to your layers dialog and press this little icon, which will duplicate the layer, or go to layer, duplicate layer. By the way, a lot of people have been asking me um, how I get my layers dialog. So go to Windows. Dockable dialogs and click layers or press Control L. Now on the duplicated layer, go to filters, edge detect, edge. And for your algorithm, select gradient. Amount, you can adjust the amount however you want. This just makes your lines brighter or uh, and stuff. And then select smear and then click OK. Now go to colors, color to alpha and this should pop up and now this from and then this color to alpha click on that and choose a black color the very darkest black you can get which is uh, the html notation should be zero 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 and then select ok and the reason we're doing the color to alpha instead of instead of just setting the layer mode to screen is because we need to um, add a drop shadow to these individual white lines. So go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow, and set in something like this for your settings. Make sure your offset X and Y are on zero. Um, you can adjust the blur radius however you want, and you can have the color on black. Um, I guess it doesn't matter, but I prefer to have it on black. And turn up the opacity to 100 if you'd like. Then click OK. Now, um, I like my drop shadow shadows to be a little uh, more dramatic, I guess. So I'm going to duplicate the drop shadow layer once. So, and that just darkens it a little. Now we're going to add some color to our image. So drop down to your background layer, which is this clouds layer, and go to colors. You can either go to colors, color balance, or colors, colorize. Um, I'm going to go with colors, colorize, because that's just easy. That's the easiest option. And I'm just going to adjust the hue a little. And click OK. And now you have your pretty cool looking grid like image. Um, you can also apply this effect to pictures, um, except they won't really look like the original picture anymore uh, after you've pixelized it. So, um, But this is how you can create a pretty cool grid effect that you can use for banners, I guess, or signatures. By the way, a lot of people have been asking me how I made my intro and how I made my website. Um, both of those things were made by my friend Unbanned. Um, I'll put his link up on the screen. But he also has a backup account, which is youtube.com slash fixedbug. So I'll put both of those up. Um, so check him out, say thank you. And um, But I do know that he made, I'm pretty sure he made my intro in After Effects um, or Sony Vegas, either one. And my site uses Joomla, or I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, 
for everything pretty much which you can download for free and install it onto your website so um, I'm not too good with the whole website thing so if you want any like if you have any questions just go onto my website and um, post in the forums and ask about it and I think someone will be able to answer you